Hi, it's Phil from Inclusive Music, teaching the world to make music with BandLab. And in this BandLab basic skill series, we're going to look at the metronome, the counting, and recording. Let's do this. Let's move on to the metronome. To switch the metronome on, we click it and it turns from white to green. If we now play the track, you can hear it. Notice it's emphasizing the first beat of the bar. We can change the metronome settings here. First of all, let's try this, changing the tempo by tapping here with the mouse or with your finger. So if I'm going to go one, two, three, those taps were 91 beats per minute. If I go a bit faster, one, two, three, four, I've now changed to 167 beats per minute. So let's now try slowing it down. I'm going to tap my finger on the mouse or on the screen. One, two, three, four. That was 82 beats per minute. Rewind, press play. There it is, 82 beats per minute. This is quite a useful feature when we want to work out the tempo of a track that we're listening to. For example, I might want to find the tempo of a song. So let's take this one. What I'm going to do is press play and then tap along with my finger on the beat. Stop it there and it's come out with 104 beats per minute. Let's try this progressive house. Okay, that's come out at 131 beats per minute. The next feature is the metronome sound. The default sound is this. Let's change it. This is very useful when we have different sounds that we're listening to with different frequencies. We can change the metronome sound so that it cuts through and we can still hear the pulse and the beat very clearly. Here's the metronome volume. Once again, very useful when we need a really loud pulse to keep us in time. Finally, the counting duration. This is how many bars the metronome plays before the recording starts. So I'm going to record on this track. The counting duration defaults to one bar, which means that when we press record, we have one bar counting before the actual recording starts. So we can get in time with the rhythm. One, two, three, four, and there it starts. And if that didn't give us enough time, we could change it to two bar counting, which would be eight beats. Let's try that. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, then it starts. Finally, the other option is to have the count-in duration off. 
which means that as soon as we press the recording button, the recording will start. There it is, straight away, giving us no chance to establish the rhythm. But that might be useful sometimes. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and ring that bell to ensure you get notifications of future videos. Until the next time, keep making music.